Megan Thee Stallion recently navigated a tumultuous week. Embroiled in a highly publicized clash with Nicki Minaj, the saga unfolded after Megan's explosive release, Hiss, soared to the top of the charts, sparking intense discussions across the internet. In a move that surprised few, Nicki Minaj swiftly countered, unleashing a barrage of unbreedlied verbal warfare that left fans astounded. Nicki's retaliation took the form of an Instagram live session, where she not only addressed the brewing feud but also tantalizingly teased a diss track in the works. The anticipation was palpable, and as the details emerged, it became evident that Nicki Minaj was armed with a plethora of ammunition for this lyrical battle. The diss track, ominously titled Bigfoot, promised to be a seismic event in the rap landscape. However, to fully grasp the magnitude of this clash, it's imperative to rewind to a time when Nicki and Megan were allies, collaborating on social media platforms and creating music together. The camaraderie took an abrupt nosedive as Megan, seemingly out of the blue, aligned herself with Cardi B, a figure firmly entrenched on Nicki's hit list for an extended period. The tipping point occurred during Megan's collaboration with Cardi on the bongo song. In what appeared to be subtle jabs, Megan unleashed a lyrical onslaught, insinuating at Nicki's alleged dance deficiencies and purported pill-popping habits. The three bars in question carried an underlying message, creating a rift that set the stage for the ensuing feud. Nicki Minaj, renowned for her no-holds-barred approach, swiftly retaliated on her hit song FTQ. In a piercing one-liner, she directed Megan to stay within the confines of her own path, specifically referencing Tori Lanez and Iggy. This reference struck a chord due to Megan's troubled history with both Tory Lanez, currently embroiled in legal issues related to an alleged shooting incident involving Megan, and Iggy, who publicly supported Tory during the initial stages of his arrest. The intricate web of personal connections, lyrical sparring, and public drama has woven a narrative that extends beyond mere musical differences. The Megan Nicki feud has transcended the realm of entertainment, offering a glimpse into the complexities of interpersonal relationships and the ever evolving dynamics within the hip hop landscape. As fans eagerly await the release of Bigfoot and the subsequent chapters in this unfolding saga, one thing remains certain. The rap world is witnessing a clash of titans that promises to leave an indelible mark on the industry. In a narrative that unfolds like a complex tapestry, Nicki Minaj's recent assertion not to be messed with, differentiating herself from Iggy Azalea, opens a doorway into the intricate dynamics of her relationship with Megan Thee Stallion. Delving into the historical timeline of these two prominent rap figures unveils a fallout that transpired a few years ago, initially characterized by subtle nuances that escaped the attention of the majority of their fan base, but eventually morphing into explicit and targeted disses embedded within their respective musical creations. The fissure in the camaraderie between Megan and Nicki manifested conspicuously after their collaborative effort on the chart-topping track, Hot Girl Summer. Fan conjecture surged with a prevailing belief that Megan's burgeoning association with Cardi B, a perennial adversary of Nicki, served as a catalyst for the growing discord. The inference was that Nicki, entrenched in a long-standing feud with Cardi, might have opted to distance herself from Megan due to this newfound affiliation. Alternatively, some speculative currents amongst fans alluded to clandestine behind-the-scenes tumult as the underpinning cause for the dissolution of their amicable ties. Drawing upon personal parallels, Nikki recounted an episode where she associated with an individual whom she perceived as an opportunist. This individual, under the scrutiny of a speakerphone, made promises only to backtrack when the conditions were met. This contextual anecdote provides a backdrop to Nikki's subsequent revelation about Megan suggesting a visit to a clinic upon learning of Nikki's pregnancy. Adding a layer of complexity, Nikki asserted that Megan persisted in encouraging her to consume alcohol despite the explicit declaration of her pregnancy plans. The narrative took an additional turn towards the disrespectful when Nikki's husband purportedly overheard Megan making these suggestions. The saga continued with Nikki disclosing that, post-childbirth, Megan demonstrated a conspicuous lack of interest in Nikki's announcement of the child's arrival. Intriguingly, it wasn't until Nikki received flowers from Beyonce that Megan seemed to pivot her approach, attempting to mirror the gesture once she became aware of Beyonce's involvement. This multifaceted tale not only unravels the layers of a rap feud, but also provides a glimpse into the intricacies of personal dynamics, the volatility of alliances, and the unfolding drama that extends beyond the boundaries of mere musical differences. 
As fans anticipate the next chapters in this evolving narrative, the Megan Nikki saga stands as a testament to the ever-shifting landscape within the hip-hop realm, where personal relationships intertwine with public personas, creating a saga that transcends the boundaries of mere entertainment. Nicki Minaj's contention is that Megan Thee Stallion perceived their interaction as an opportunity for a rapid elevation in clout, initiating a complex and tense exchange where both artists seized upon every conceivable chance to outdo each other with their cutting disses. Seeing Green, one of the battlegrounds for their verbal sparring, saw Nicki Minaj taking a jab at Megan's prolific presence on TikTok and suggesting, in no uncertain terms, that perhaps Megan should confine herself to her dancing prowess. Furthermore, Nikki didn't shy away from labeling Megan as thirsty, subtly alluding to recent allegations and intertwining the narrative with implications of alcoholism. What initially began as subtle disses soon morphed into an escalating feud, with both artists strategically embedding their jabs into various facets of their music. It's evident that the DCs grew in intensity, as the beef between them heightened, prompting fans to retrospectively identify the nuanced shade carefully woven into their songs throughout the years. The conjecture among fans extends to Megan's song, Thush, where they discern veiled shots at Nikki, suggesting that Megan accused her of harboring jealousy following their previous friendship. In the lyrics, Megan reflects on the transition from receiving applause to facing resentment after achieving her well-deserved success. Adding another layer to her narrative, Megan flexes her accolades from the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, where she etched her name in history as the first female rapper to win Best Rap Song, a subtle yet pointed reference that indirectly targets Nicki, who, despite an illustrious career, has yet to secure a Grammy herself. Undeterred and resolute, Megan continued her lyrical assault in Kitty Cat, delivering a response to those who questioned the legitimacy of her achievements. Despite the relatively subdued attention these disses received, Megan used the opportunity to assert her dominance and success within the rap landscape. Nikki, known for her unwavering response to provocations, predictably didn't let these attacks go unanswered. In her song, Super Freaky Girl Remix, she dismissed Megan's claims and asserted her enduring influence in the rap game, reinforcing her presence as a formidable force. Taking the feud to a more nuanced level, Nikki extended her disease to Megan on Red Ruby the Sleeve, ingeniously referencing Christopher Reeves. This symbolic critique entwined with Megan's stage name and Reeves's tragic horse-riding accident adds another layer of complexity to their ongoing verbal exchange. In a recent twist, Megan revived the smoldering feud in her latest song, Hiss, where she took direct aim at Nikki and her husband. This latest installment in their lyrical saga underscores the persistent nature of their beef, revealing the intricate interplay of personal dynamics and public personas within the hip-hop realm. As the saga continues to unfold, fans remain eagerly poised for each artist's next move in this ongoing and engrossing lyrical clash. Unsurprisingly, this diss hit a nerve, prompting a swift response from Nicki on her Instagram Live just an hour after the release of Megan's track, Hiss. Following the song's release, Richard Kanka, the father of Megan Kanka for whom the law is named after, openly expressed his dissatisfaction with the situation. The mention of his late daughter in Megan's diss track was considered inappropriate, even though he admitted to not having heard the track, but rather read the lyrics after being informed by one of his children. During Nikki's Instagram rant, she accused Megan of lying about her deceased mother, bringing up past issues and accusing Megan of seeking attention from her husband during a live session. Nikki claimed that Megan's attention was focused on her husband in the video, urging people to watch it on Twitter. Nikki also accused Megan of consistently avoiding controversies by deflecting blame onto those around her, including the baby, Tori, her best friend, and even her own mother. Nikki concluded her rant by condemning Megan's behavior and urging her to apologize to her mother. While Nikki only went live once, she managed to deliver a barrage of shots at Megan that left the internet in awe. Throughout her impassioned rant, Nikki hinted at various aspects of their conflict, leaving room for speculation and further scrutiny as the ongoing feud continues to unfold. The resonance of Megan's diss track lies in its incisiveness, probing Nicki Minaj about her associations and dragging up a 30-year-old controversy from when a man was just 15, pointing out that being lied about isn't a badge of honor. The continuous references to a man not actively involved in the music industry and absent from social media hint at a lack of substance in Nicki's lyrical content. 
implying a learning curve in her rap skills. This layered critique serves as the foundation for the intensifying feud between the two artists. As the verbal battle played out, celebrities couldn't resist weighing in on the drama. Ariana Grande swiftly took Megan's side, encouraging her followers to support Megan's new song. In stark contrast, Koi Ray dismissed the entire rap beef culture, characterizing it as worn out, tiresome, and embarrassing. Nikki, in her counterattack, alleged that Megan used derogatory terms for a fellow female rapper she collaborated with, adding another layer to the already complex feud. Elevating the conflict further, Nikki took her grievances to Twitter, unveiling more accusations against Megan. She highlighted instances where Megan supposedly lied about her deceased mother, her late friend, and even pressured Nikki to drink while potentially pregnant. Nikki critiqued Megan's approach, contending that Megan consistently deflects controversies by implicating those around her, including the baby, Tori, and even her own mother. In a strategic move, Nikki not only posted the full lyrics of her diss track on Twitter, but also hinted at additional tracks in the pipeline, insinuating possible revelations if Megan were to deny any claims in her upcoming song. This move added another layer of anticipation to an already charged atmosphere. Surprisingly, Vogue's entertainment director, Sergio Ketoy, added his voice to the narrative, ridiculing Megan and making light of her involvement in the ongoing drama. The diss saga even delved into net worth comparisons, with Jeffree Star publicly aligning himself with Nicki and emphasizing the financial divide between the two artists. Despite the attention garnered by Nicki's diss track, Megan has chosen relative silence in response, leaving fans and onlookers in suspense about how she will navigate the multifaceted allegations. The rap feud, intertwined with personal grievances and public scrutiny, continues to captivate audiences, offering a revealing glimpse into the intricate dynamics of personal and professional relationships within the music industry. As the saga unfolds, the anticipation for Megan's response remains palpable adding to the intrigue surrounding this unfolding drama.